welcome them to the party and I'd love to have a conversation with them and I believe that even though we may have differences of opinion that there is a middle ground there is there are things that we can agree on but what the left has done the left has create has has turned everything into a black and white demonize and divide polarize division and that is that is a problem and so I, I honestly believe that if we can reach out to people um, millennials and let them know that we are the party that's securing their future we are the party that wants to ensure that they own a home the left wants to wants you to have nothing and they say you're going to be happy but it's not true <laughs> When the Emergency Measures Act was invoked, do you know what happened? They shut down Parliament on the Friday. I went and I stood outside. I said, I should be inside there. It, Churchill, what, bonds were dropping and Churchill was in Parliament. We should have been in the House arguing and debating. that piece of legislation was used, it was abused. It, we do not need it. If we have an emergency, no matter where elected officials are, no matter where MPs are, even if they're on vacation, they need to get on a plane, get to Parliament, and deal with the situation. We do not need the Emergency Measures Act. It was abused and I will not allow that I'm Sos here for Rebel News, and we are on location at the second night of the Dr. Leslin Lewis campaign for the leadership of the Conservative Party of Canada here in Calgary. We're at the Holiday Inn Express on Blackfoot Trail here, where they are expecting about 1,200 people. 1,200 people have registered for this event. Last night, a few hundred people were on hand in Calgary as well for the first stop of her visit, and Dr. Leslin Lewis nailed many key points for Westerners, including building pipelines, axing the carbon tax, ending mandates opening up free travel across this country and she even addressed trucker convoys and support for pastors who have been arrested speaking at length and unapologetically on those matters. She is going to be addressing very likely a larger crowd tonight as well and we will be on location to cover this event and any other events coming up in the leadership race for the Conservative Party of Canada. All of that can be found at leadershipreports.ca. A government cannot compel you to do something and if they tell you that you will not eat because you will lose your job, that's compulsion, that's not voluntary. And that's the problem that I have with mandates. Not, not anything else, I believe that it should be voluntary. And when you take away somebody's ability to earn a living, it, it no longer becomes voluntary. So I'm here with Craig Chandler of Team Leslin Lewis. Uh, we were at the event last night, a really good turnout. I think Dr. Leslin Lewis hit on some of the key points for Albertans, nominally building pipelines, axing the carbon tax, defunding the NDP, uh, ending mandates and opening up the country. What What is it that you think Dr. Leslin Lewis has to offer that resonates most and that maybe other candidates can't do? Well, she represents, she really believes in the equality of all the provinces, for example, uh, she voted against uh, Quebec maintaining their seat status and structure in the House of Commons recently. Pierre voted for it. So mm -hmm. she's not going to kowtow to Quebec. And we need somebody who's actually going to represent our interests. And when you, when you hear her and you hear her talk, she's always talking about how we're getting a raw deal on Confederation and he's, she's going to be our advocate. Last, uh, last election, remember, she won the popular vote. Yeah. And she also won the West on the second ballot. And is there a fundamental issue within the Conservative Party or something you think that they're missing on, they're lacking out on that Dr. Leslie Lewis can address? Just consistency, voting consistency. I like her, I appreciate her consistency in pro-life issues especially. Um, I'm sick of Conservative leaders that take advantage of the social Conservative vote and kind of take us for granted because they don't represent us anymore. They're not doing a good job at that. So I appreciate her consistency on those. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to see what she brings to the table. Look at our situation right now. We, our Arctic is not even protected. So we're asking, we, we, we want 
want to do for Ukraine what we haven't even done for ourselves. And I think what we first need to do is we need to make sure that our Arctic is protected. Our Arctic is, is basically shared with Russia. what Russia has, what, what, what we, we're witnessing a war between Russia and the Ukraine. We need to protect our Arctic. Right now, Russia has 40 submarines with tor ice-breaking torpedoes on it. Canada has zero. We are actually very, very vulnerable. I've shown a lot of courage, actually, I think, in standing up and entering politics, because it's a messy business. And I, uh, I think she uh, has been a real breath of fresh air and, and light and, and truth in a, in a dark, dark uh, political culture that we live in. Well, she's a committed Christian, and that, uh, that's important, but it follows through in all of her policies. And uh, I was even more impressed tonight with everything that I heard her say. I was in complete agreement with all that she has said. And I'm so excited to have hope that there is a possibility of honesty and integrity coming into the conservative leadership. What is your concern with Dr. Leslie Lewis? Her background in environmentalism is a concern in the sense that she may have, in, in a way, a somewhat biased view about uh, and the environment, uh, maybe some over concern for what's uh, a lot of environmentalists look at and so those are problems for for us from a scientific perspective and from an economic perspective particularly for Alberta. I believe as a faith person I believe that we have to be good stewards of whatever our creator gave us and so the protecting the environment is something that even if you're in the agricultural sector you do it naturally. You're not going to deplete that which your sustenance comes from. You're going to learn how to protect the environment and live in harmony with it. What we are doing now is we are creating fear. And that fear is only so that they can tax you and, and, and impose the carbon tax. We can actually protect the environment without the imposition of the carbon tax. But... Leslie Lewis last time as well and what I really appreciate about her is the fact that she is grassroots she's not a career politician I also really like how she breaks the narrative that conservatives are a bunch of old white men by being a relatively younger well-educated black woman who herself is an immigrant I just really think that that persona is going to be a huge advantage to swing kind of mushy middle voters. I think that she is our best hope to be Prime Minister. I think she'll make a great leader. I believe that she's a bridge builder and I think she brings a message of unity and uh, hope. The truckers brought hope. That was a, a, an outstanding thing that they did crossing the country and when you talk to them they talk about hope and I think she brings hope. She's different. She's different than the rest of the politicians. I like what she stands for. Um, the only challenge I think she's going to have is overcoming the social media presence of the others. But she stands for everything I stand for and everything every other conservative that I ever talked to stands for. And so what is the principal sort of concern or problem with the Conservative Party of Canada now that you think she might be able to address? Well, I, I think they try to, they're a, a, a lighter shade of blue, a lighter shade of liberal now and they're trying to follow the populist belief, not necessarily the real belief. And I think that's a part of the challenge that we have in, in all of society right now. Yes, I'm supporting Dr. Leslie Lewis. I supported her the last time because I felt that she was the, the real conservative and, uh, and, and a compassionate conservative and a bridge builder. And I think that she's actually improved from the last time. And she's demonstrated through her actions that she is independent minded and I, I think, and prepared to to represent Canadians. And what would you say is your principal concern with the Conservative Party of Canada now? And do you think Dr. Lewis, Leslie Lewis can address that? Well, I, yes, I think she changes the channel, if you will. She doesn't change her views when she's confronted aggressively, but she deals with it in a reasonable fashion and in an under, a caring fashion, an understanding fashion, so that it it gives people comfort in the answer and it disarms the antagonism that is sometimes directed. Whether or not they're within your region of, of, of the country, 
you will honestly look at a problem and say, for example, those people have been abused in Alberta. We have had legislations that have favored foreign companies over companies in Alberta. We have had legislation that has, that has chased companies out of this province. We have purchased foreign oil when we have the third largest accessible oil reserves on this planet. And then we have said that we care about the environment. We care about the environment. But yet, Alberta produces the most ethical oil in the world, the most environmentally conscious and friendly oil in the world, with the best human rights record in the world. And yet, we have in legislation like Bill C-48 and Bill C-69 that cripple this industry. I will repeal both Bill C-48 and both Bill c well, the evening here in Calgary is wrapping up. As we mentioned, this was the second night of Dr. Leslie Lewis's stop here in Calgary. They're telling us that the capacity for this room was about 1,200 people, and it was absolutely a packed house. Dr. Leslie Lewis, not a career politician, not shying away and giving us the typical political speech that we are used to. She addressed issues directly, including building pipelines, defunding the CBC, addressing the lies spread by the media, talking about overstepping mandates, and supporting the truckers who were in Ottawa standing up for fundamental freedoms. Very refreshing to see. Uh, we covered lots of the content, some very interesting questions tonight. Most of the content, as we mentioned, the same discussed last evening, but the Q&A session definitely generated some interesting content. We also spoke to some people here at this larger crowd than last night to get their takes on Dr. Leslie Lewis's campaign for the leadership of the Conservative Party of Canada. We hope you enjoyed this video so much, and I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. For Rebel News, I'm Adam Sos. Rebel News is out here with boots on the ground covering the leadership race for the Conservative Party of Canada like no one else at many of these events that we're covering. We're simply seeing no or very little media showing up. If you want to make sure you stay up to date on the latest coverage of the leadership race for the Conservative Party of Canada, the place to find all our coverage from all the way across Canada is at leadershipreports.ca.